Hi, I'm Saxos Isnogueira Serrano, President of the European Body Society, and let's talk today about a specific techniques that we can find in our school that uh, are linked to the traditional Jiu-Jitsu that are called Gyo-Son. Gyo-Son, literally from the Japanese to the English, means Fisher Village. And we uh, usually employ the term that it's called uh, Nyo-Son, that are the Sisengo uh, term for this topic. Because we usually, in the inner side, on in the inner cultural side of four school, this dialect from the Japanese, then uh, these fisher techniques, these fisher techniques usually employ the fisherman skills that they, they commonly use. For example, using rows, using, for example, nets, using the boats, and they were employed to fight against, to defend against warrior class like the samurai or the busi that threaten and fight against them, against uh, these villages that, uh, and the way to defend were employing acrobatic elements to jump in in order to throw down uh, to the ground from the horseman. Then, in this case, the employ of these kind of elements, these kind of items, like the rows, like the, the nets, were usually employed for these men, and we have gathered all this tradition by the legacy that comes to us. If we look deeply into the, this part of this study, we will look and we will find that the wasen, that is the traditional rowboat, have six different types of construction inside Japan. Dixie's types are from the first one, that it's semi hagi, that means literally four boards put together. It's an insole boat, employed usually in the northern side of Japan. I am referring to the Tohoku area and Hokkaido. The second one is called chokibune. Choki means task of a board. In this case, this is referred to the way to design the, the elements uh, of the design of this boat. It was employed. It's a long boat employed uh, to, to, uh, to touch in inside the channels of the Edo period in Edo itself. The Tenma Sen is the third kind of, of ship, in this case because it's a small ship, a cargo boat, a cargo row uh, boat, and remains as to the horse that were charging, were uh, transporting, uh, loadings. The fourth type of this is Taraibune, that are village boats employed in the southern side of the country, in the Saddle Islands, and are tube boats because they were uh, circular construction and were employed to face. The fifth type is the Pekabune, it's a light construction and they were employed to gather seaweed. Its name is uh, onomatopoeic because this beka, it uh, remembers us the, the name of the sound uh, of the waves when they uh, cross into the, into the boat, like beka, beka, beka. The sixth one, the, le, uh, the last one, is the savani, that were a type of boat, a kind of boat employed in the Okinawa. Then, uh, returning to the main uh, aspect that we are uh, dealing it's the Gyoson, is to say the Fisher Village techniques. And we will be employing these techniques against uh, an enemy that in this case are wanting to throw us. Then, in spite that we could find the employment of these kind of items, like the rows that right now we could employ like a bow, we could find elements in order to make uh, acrobatic elements like using this to the ground, putting into the ground and jumping over the horse or employing this in order to skate like putting uh, the feet in, in the row and going up in order to skate from an attack and these kind of elements that are mm, rarely used by the samurai class, their busy class because the employment of the armor and the employ of regular weapons uh, are not uh, using this kind of elements that are different, are more linked to the fisherman tradition. Then, let's see from now some 
specific techniques in order to understand the concepts that we are uh, dealing today. Thank you very much. We are going to see some uh, acrobatic elements that we will employ to escape from a throw. And in this case, it's a small part of the skills that we will uh, learn under Gilson studies. Then, in this case, Sensei Chao, please, we were being uh, grabbed by the enemy, and in this case, the partner will try to make uh, a backside throw. In this case, the first thing that we will do is to make with our hands a point where we could grab and it's a, a pushing element. And in this case, when he is throwing myself, I will employ the inertia in order to escape and make an acrobatic element in order to gain a better position for myself and we will defend against this kind of attack. In this case, when he is throwing me, I will go up and escape from the side. From this point, I will choke him himself in the neck, and from here, my hand pass downwards and around the, the, the arm, and will stretch in order to make the shimmy, the choking techniques, in his neck. Other kind, another type of throwing when he's performing a back, backward throw. In this case, when he is trying to throw me by his back, please, from this point, I will, from here, employ pushing my hands into his feet, and from here, will go up, going to this side. From this point, we put the knee in his armpit, and from here, we have the Yuji Gatame here to control. Other types of throwing we could employ, for example, from a Tomoenage, from this position, when he's wanting to throw myself in the same way, please. I go here, and from here I employ my hand in order that my legs go upwards and gain a position into a side position in order to regain my situation. I am not falling backwards, I am putting a sideways position. From here, with this hand that could be here, we could pass downwards, I'm a left hand grab into the sleeve, and from here we could choke and perform a choking technique of other kind of grabbing elements. Then, with these examples, we could find that uh, these kind of techniques, Yosun techniques, could uh, employ acrobatic elements in order to escape from throwing techniques that are where to be employed for the samurai or the warrior class and will be the way to defend of this fisherman, this, uh, this ancient tradition that we have uh, had the legacy through our tradition, through our lineage. Thank you very much.